Today's interactive read aloud is called Why the Sun and Moon Are in the Sky. It's a folk tale from Nigeria and it asks, how do you think the sun and moon got into the sky? This folk tale offers an explanation. The vocabulary words in this story are observe, vast, thoughtful, certain, and remained. When we get to those words, think about what they mean, and we'll pause to talk about the definition of each one. So why the sun and moon are in the sky. Long, long ago, the sun and moon lived on earth and shared a home on top of a hill. From their home, they were able to observe the vast sea. Observe, when you observe something, you watch it carefully. And vast means it's something very large in area or amount. So the sun and moon were able to see or watch it, the big, huge sea. Every morning and evening, the sun and moon left their home to visit their good friend, the sea, and her family. The sea had a large family. Among her children were dolphins, whales, seals, and schools of fish. All of these creatures called the sea mother, and she never went anywhere without them. One morning, while the sun and moon were visiting the sea, they had the same idea. Dear friend, each morning and evening we visit you, sun said. Yes, added moon. Now we would like to invite you to our home. Will you come to visit us? How very thoughtful of you to invite me to your home, replied the sea. Thoughtful. If someone is thoughtful, he or she is kind and thinks about how others feel. So the sun and moon were thoughtful to invite uh, the sea to their home. They were kind in thinking of her and her needs. Of course I would like to visit you. However, I never go anywhere without all of my children, and I fear that your house is too small. The sun and moon looked up at their small house. They thought how big the sea was and how many children she had. We shall build a new house, said sun. Yes, added moon. We will build a large house so that all you and all your children can visit us. So the sun and moon built a very large house. Their new house was so huge that it covered the entire top of the hill. In fact, it was the most enormous house that Sun and Moon had ever seen. As soon as their house was completed, the Sun and Moon went to the sea. Our new house is finished. We are certain that it is large enough for you and your children to visit us, said the Sun. Certain. When you are certain about something, you are sure that it is true or that something will happen. Certain. So they, the sun and moon know that the house is big enough for the sea and all of her children. Please come and visit us tomorrow, said the moon. The next day, the sea and her entire family arrived at the sun and moon's new house. The sea asked, may we come in? The sun and moon replied, Yes, dear friend, do come in. So the sea flowed in with some of her children, including small fish, large fish, spotted fish, striped fish, and some beautiful creatures with shells. Soon the floor was covered with nearly two feet of water and the sun and moon were standing on top of a table. As the sea kept flowing in with more creatures, she asked the sun and moon, should we continue to come in? And the sun and moon replied, Yes, dear friend, do come in. The sea kept pouring in with more of her children, sharks, stingrays, dolphins, seals, and a giant whale. Now the sea was her and her family flowed above the tables, and the sun and moon had to climb on top of their roof. The sea kept asking, should we continue to come in? The sun and moon did not wish to be rude. They replied, yes, dear friend, do come in. As the sea flowed in with more of her children, she filled the house to the ceiling. The sun and moon had nowhere else to climb. 
Their whole house was underwater, so they flew up into the sky, and they have remained there to this very day, watching over their good friend C and all her children. Remained, if something remained, it stayed the same way or in the same place. So the sun and moon remained or stayed in the sky. The end. So go back and think about those words. Observe, vast, thoughtful, certain, and remained. See if you can use each of those words in a sentence. Happy learning.